Good morning, Vietnam! Good morning, fuckeroonies. It's the Archibald here. It's the Archibald uh, on the channel. So, hi, guys. How are you? Uh, it's uh, it's Friday night in America. 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 I've just come back from Sydney. Had to go to Sydney. Uh, yep, it's all good, guys. It's all good. It's all good. Very, very good indeed. Um, uh, what can I say, guys? It's uh, it's uh, I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Things are pretty fucked financially. I'm on the last legs there. It's been very, very fucking hard. I've spent money like a drunken sailor lately. I gotta re. Form. I gotta reform, fuckers. Gotta reform. Uh, very quickly there, Louis the Fifteenth. Hello, fuckers. Welcome. You were the first person at eight oh two. Eight oh two this morning. Where the fuck did I put my phone? I've lost it. Uh, what can I say? Uh, what can I say? Um, it's, it's pretty damn hard, pretty damn hard fuckers, pretty damn fucking hard. I'm doing this live show at this time here because I tell you why fuckers, I'm, uh, I got to take my son to mathematics classes. Yeah. I got to do some, got to do some, got to look after the children. So yeah, that's how it goes there. Uh, what do we got happening here? Uh, we're just looking for the super chats. Jaden V, two dollars. How long did one meal a day last? That's a very good question, Jaden. I'm about to start it. About to start next fucking week. Next week, sunshine. Next week, I will be commencing that uh, fucking experiment. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. All good. All good. Don't worry. Um, about it there next week i'm starting okay you gotta have a start i mean i haven't started yet i had to go i had buffets i had to go to to sydney i had to meet up with some fans i couldn't turn down free gourmet buffets so yeah that's kind of what happened there so uh hopefully very fucking soon very fucking soon blue shirt buddha man how are you man how are you it's always good to have Blue shirt Buddha in the house, silly boy. Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, we've got a. We, we, the numbers are growing, man. The numbers are growing. Fifty three watching. It's a little bit early today because I got to take my son to mass class. So that's <laughs> that's what's happened, man. Be the man. You see that viral vid? That's going crazy. Uh, that's going crazy. Uh, uh, Edu, you, you need to super chat. I don't answer fucking questions for free. I don't answer questions for free. You got to remember that. Don't answer questions for free. Don't do shit for free, fuckers. I don't do shit for free. Captain Z, hello. Hello there, Captain Z. Captain Z. Uh, what else is oh two dollars from Blue Shirt Buddha man that's cool. Uh, Pond of how long till you get the mill gauss? <sighs> I got to be completely frank and honest with you. I've put a hundred and fifty dollars down, and I'm thinking about backing out. I'm broke. Money is very tight. I got nothing. I'm fucking bare. I'm about to gotta gotta pay for braces soon. Yeah, it's fucked. I think I might be backing out. Okay. Yankee Doodle, two dollars from Yankee Doodle. Forget the mass class, buy him a calculator. Uh, look, you gotta you gotta try your best for your children, okay? Wristwatch, check. I'm wearing my Rolex, Rolex Explorer Two Polar. Good morning, sucker horn. Sucker horns on. Me and Sucker Horn, we're going to do some more shows together. I love the Sucker Horn. Sucker Horn. 
Sakahon. Good morning, Sakahon. It's always good to have Sakahon in the house. I'm early today, Jono, because I got to take one of my kids to Mass Tutor. Got to take him to a Mass Tutor today. Uh, so that's that's what's happening, man. That's what's happening. Been fucking windy. I, I was in Sydney. I almost had my flight cancelled. There's so much fucking wind. Only one runway is working. Uh, I'd lucky to get out. Lucky to get out. Thank God, because I'm fucking broke. I am fucking, fucking, fucking broke. Absolutely broke. Uh, did you get a free ticket to Thorpe's Brighton Watch? No, I haven't got it yet, but I'm happy to go. If I get a free ticket, I'll go. Uh, good morning, suck. Okay, yeah, yeah, we said that. Uh, what's going on, man? Come on, man, get on the program. We need some super chats. Maybe it's a bit early. This time could be a stinker. I've had to make it early because i got to take one of my kids to mass class. But um, I don't know if this is working. <clears throat> We're not getting the numbers in yet. It might be too early. What time is it in America? Hey. Hey, Siri, what time is it in America? In Washington, District of Columbia, the United States, it's 6.33 p.m. Hey, Siri, what time is it in New York? It's 6.34 p.m. in New York City, New York, the United States. Hey, Siri, what time is it in Los Angeles? It's 3.34 p.m. in Los Angeles, California, the United States. Okay, it might be a bit early. What time is it in Oklahoma, bitch? Hey, Siri, what time is it in Oklahoma, bitch? I don't know how to respond to that. Hey, Siri, what time is it in Oklahoma? It's 5.34 p.m. in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Siri. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe a bit early. Maybe a bit early. Maybe a bit early. I just did these shows early because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, just trying it. Just trying it, man. Just trying it. People going home from work in New York City. Um. Yeah. 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 Are we going to have min silence for the Daytona? Min. Min. Minute silence. Yes. Punters at work. Yeah. The certainly the ones who contribute are at work, which is. This is what it's all about. It's all about the money, the money. Arch, will you ever get a Breguet Type 20 again? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I did like that watch. Yeah, it was a great watch, but probably not. Hop on later. We're all at work. Ron the Shrink. Ah, thank you, Ron. Thank you, Ron. I got I, My son's got to go to mass class soon, so I'm just trying it a bit early. Uh, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'll try. I'm going to do a later one too. Okay. We'll do a, we might do a later one. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that as well. Uh, they got jobs. Well, I'm, I'm in a different time zone. See, it's, it's Saturday morning in Australia. It's Saturday morning. Um, and I got to tell you, man, it's Saturday, Saturday. So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, what else is going on there? James, just my opinion. Hey, man, he's cool. James is cool. Uh, can we discuss the TGV Watchbox monstrosity? Hey, I think it's great. I think it's good for the industry. He's uh, he's got a boss. He's going to have to behave. Uh, and I, I got to tell you, the guys at Watchbox, they don't cheat. They don't cheat. They don't buy views. They don't buy subscribers. Uh, they don't cheat. So um, that that's that's uh, I think it's good. He's muzzled. It's basically having a, a like a wild, rangy, vicious dog who you put a muzzle on. So he's muzzled. That's it's all good. It's all good from for far as I can see there. Um, yeah, I, I'm desperate. I'm desperate. Silly boy. I'm fucking desperate. The show it's stinking. This is turning out to be a stinker. We've got no guess. And I'm sinking fast. Money is down the gurgle. It's stinking, sinking. Uh, hey, Daniel, thank you for that. TGV has a boss. The pontiff is the boss. Thank you. Neutered. Neil and Bob neutered. Uh, 
But why have Watchbox taken? They're trying to buy market share. They're very, very clever. They want to become the CNN of uh, the wristwatch space. Very clever. Very, they're very clever. Um, that Brian Govberg's very fucking clever guy. Don't, 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 don't. Um, he's very clever guy. Very good. Too early. Still, a, I know. Thank you. I know. I know. I'm fucking early. I gotta take my son to a mass tutor. A bit later on, so I've got to fuck it. I had to reschedule. Uh, a dollar. Well, fuck me, Dad. We got two dollars came in. Thank God. Two dollars from Aunt G. Arch. Why do you prefer Paddock over Rolex? Very good question. Why do I indeed prefer Patek Philippe over Rolex? Relax. Why? 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 Indeed, that's a very good question. Well, guys, I gotta tell you. I mean, Rolex is a great watch. Rolex makes good stuff. However, Patek is fucking king. Patek is king. Patek is king. I just, I just love Patek Philippe. I just love Patek Philippe. Um, I love. I love Patek Philippe. I think Patek Philippe is just, just gorgeous, just beautiful. Look, it's not for everyone's cup of tea. Patek Philippe is extremely, uh, it's extremely delicate. You know, th these Patek Philippe's are not just something you just wear uh, for everyday use. You you wear a Patek. It's more of an occasion watch. You know, it's more of an occasion watch. Uh, it's, uh, it's more of an occasion watch, but uh, I love, I really do love Patek Philippe. So for me, it's just that I, I love them. I've always loved them. I mean, I love Rolex. Patek's kind of the next, I just love Patek. I love, I love the dress watch. I love the, the, the gold precious metal dress watch. So that's why do I prefer it? I suppose it's because they're they're rarer, they're scarcer, and they're they're kind of a different genre. I I just just love everything about the brand. But Rolex is cool, okay? Jordan V, ten dollars from Jordan V. With gold prices on the rise, if we see two thousand, three thousand an ounce in gold or more, how do you think that could affect all gold and two tone Rolexes? Uh, and also, how would it affect the steel prices? Look, the thing you've got to realize is in a Patek Philippe or a Rolex solid gold, Ro Rolex has a lot more gold because you're generally getting the bracelet as well. <clears throat> it's only a couple thousand dollars of gold, okay? <laughs> so the actual selling price of the watch um it is so much it's not really because it's it's gold it's the craftsmanship that goes into it so rolex is affected by the price of gold on the gold and two tone but it's it's more so it's it's uh there's a lot of uh how do you put this there's a lot of uh a lot of money for the marketing and the everything else so it's not really when you buy a, a, a steel or a two-tone or a solid gold, in a solid gold Submariner, for example, <clears throat> you've uh, they're forty-four thousand dollars. Probably ten percent is the cost of gold. Less than ten percent is the actual cost of of, of the commodity. But um, I look if gold prices rise, they may rise a little bit. But I said, as I said, it's a, it's not the hugest component. When you look at the ratio, it's 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 not. And did you know platinum is less than gold at one stage? So, but but the thing is, platinum is more expensive in jewelry because it's such a bitch to work with. That's the reason. Yankee Doodle, Yankee Doodle, two dollars from Yankee Doodle. Did Johnny Casual finally jump? <coughs> Look, I've actually been trying to find out what's happened to Johnny Casual. Uh, nothing. Nothing. I I'm fucking a bit worried. He was a lovely man. I really liked him. I really loved my Johnny Casual. You know, he 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 looked. I don't think he looked fat. He looked healthy. He looked fucking healthy. 
And, you know, he was a bit left wing. He's married to some fucking feminist bitch. Okay, that's okay. No problems, man. Cool it. Cool it, man. Then he got divorced. He got stuck with that fucking Subaru. Fuck. Fuck. And uh, he just went downhill. Fuck, he looks so thin. He looks like he's fucking on, on ice. That's what he looks. He's just so fucking thin. He's saying how great the diet is. I mean, fuck me, Dad. That's not a diet. You look like fucking you're dying. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm not a healthy man. He looked like a, he had a nice beard. He was strong. You think, oh, fuck, that's a good male specimen. Now he looks like he's a fucking, 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 he's doing LSD trips. I mean, fuck me, dead. Fuck me, dead. The guy's just, just gone. He just gone. He looks fucking well, terrible. And I'm surprised that he would be affected by a bitch that much. I just can't believe it. It's, it's, it's fucking disappointing. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. So, uh, yeah, that's the story there uh how many other super chats we've got just check and check and check oh here we go bob and neil guys by the way i don't answer your questions unless you send fucking money not a fucking charity uh two dollars from neil and bob archie is really dave's watch walla i don't understand that question what do you mean archie is dave is Archie is really Dave's watch walla. I, I don't understand the question, man. You gotta, I gotta fuck it. I only went to Oxley State High. You gotta make it uh, so I can understand what the question is, man. If I don't understand the question, uh, then Joe, Joe Bolton, if you're buying those sort of watches, you should fucking super chat, you cheap sons of bitches. Fuck me dead. There's some cheap people on here today. Uh, four paddocks. Four piece paddock meal deal combo. Uh, oh, we got devices. Here we go. We got, we got, we got Doc. Hello, Doc. Hello, Doc. You do? Are you telling me you can't hear me? I can hear you. Hello, Doc. Straight from the morgue. You got to get out of the morgue, Doc. No signal. Hey, just very quickly there, Yankee Doodle, Yankee Doodle sent a uh, he sent a he sent a super chat in, which we we like our super chats. They mean a lot to me. These super chats is what's the bread and butter. That runs American commerce. Uh, it's it's what runs commerce, commerce, commerce. That's what it is there. Um, Yankee, I know Yankee. I'm back in the truck up, man. I'm reversing the semi trailer, man. I'm reversing a semi trailer. I'm just trying to find this fucking thing. Can you give me, give me a fucking moment, man. I just need a moment. Can I have a moment to find this? Fucking thing with here we go. Fucky, fucky, sucky, fucky, fucky, sucky, fucky. Uh, here we go, Yankee Doodle. Here we go. Five bucks from Yankee Doodle. Couldn't you get your paddock filly filled with only two paddocks? Did you really need four? What the fuck? Rodents, 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 rodents. You know, I know how to fucking deal with rodents. You put a little bit of bait there and you put a trap. That's not going to kill the, the, the nest. You want to get rid of rodents, you fucking rat sack to place, okay? Rat sack, rat sack, traps, trap, rat sack, rat sack. I doubled up for the fucking rodents. The rodents. That's why, man. The fucking, fucking nasty rodents. That's the reason the rodents. You want to kill rodents? You don't play with little pissy mouse traps. You got to rat sack the fucking joint. Then you know you get. Then then you get the smell. Once these rodents start decaying, 
you get that fucking smell. That's right, because the rodents have died. That's what happens, man. That's the reason, because these fucking rodents keep nipping, nipping at the bud. They keep nipping at the bud. So the only way to deal with rodents is to fucking rat sack. And that's exactly what I've done, man. We had to double down, double down. You had a casino, you're losing, you doubled the next bet to get, you want to win your money back. That's the reason. That's the reason, man. You want to double down, double down, man. That's the reason. Here we go. Joe Bolton. Joe Bolton. $2, $3 from Joe Bolton. He's got a double one four oh six oh double one six six one three LB. So he's got a no date submariner. He's got a two tone submariner. Two tone. And he's got a two uh, white gold date just. That's what he's got. He's got this is what he's got. Now, the question he's saying, what next? I can tell you what next, man. I can tell you what next. I can tell you exactly what to get. I tell you what to get. You know what I'd get if I were you? I would get, what would I get? What would you get if you got this little combo collection? So he's just check. He's got a bluesy, 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 man. Bluesy. No date sub, a bluesy, and a date just. You gotta get a fucking, you gotta get a GMT function, Joe. Need to get an Explorer 2? Get, get an Explorer 2. I get the... the oh, I'm wearing my panic. Fuck, I'm wearing panic. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Rolex Explorer 2. Uh, you'd obviously go for the Series 2 because you've got all super modern stuff. Um, or I'd go for a GMT. Batman or a black, 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 black. Or a Batman or a Pepsi. That'd be so cool. Four-piece meal deal combo deal, man. You got all your bases covered. You got a diver. You got a dress diver. You got a work watch in 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 your uh, day just casual dress watch. Get a fucking GM fucking T man. Uh, two pounds from silly boy arts. What happened to the Air King? Look, man, the Air King had. I I don't have unlimited money. I do not have unlimited money. The Air King. That actually was part of a three-piece meal combo swaps deal where I sold, I swapped my Milgauss, Explorer 1, and Air King, and I did that to get the 5296, the 5296 Patek Philippe. I don't have unlimited money, fuckers. That's the reason. Okay, $2 from Blue Shirt Buddha. Rodents and treacherous snakes. That's exactly it, man. That's exactly, exactly, exactly it. That's the way it goes. $2 from Bruce Malat Mald Oni Odo, which Rolex Deep Sea, James Cameron, or Sea Dweller 43. Ooh, good. You know what I'd go with? I tell you, I would go for the the standard deep sea black. That's what I'd go because that's kind of a little bit not popular. I reckon that's the one I'd go. Good value proposition. Uh, but if you're asking me between a James Cameron and a Sea Dweller 43, no question at all. Sea Dweller 43. That is a fantastic watch. I love the proportions, love the size. It is absolutely the one to go for it's my if i had a choice that's what i would definitely do there we've got james just my opinion uk two pounds from james just my opinion rolex in in the uk is now uncool tudor is the uk watch and with the falling pound it's just in time because no fucker can afford the rolex no Fucker can afford the role. We got Rich Buddy, man. How are you, man? Rich what up? Buddy. What's going on, Arch? Hey, man. It's great to have you here. 
What happened oh, to the doc? I saw the doc man. tried to come on. It didn't didn't happen. No, yeah, look, he, he was in. He, sometimes his reception's not great. Um, I gotta be completely honest with you, man. I'm fucking skintus. Four paddocks fucked me dead. I owe money all over town. I owe Brian two thousand dollars. Okay, I owe. I owe a lot of money at the moment, okay? Things are not good. I might have to quit YouTube and get a... I might have to quit that's YouTube and, and get a job! Operate. I might have to that's, get a job. That's how countries operate. They have bigger budgets, bigger expenditures yeah. than their budgets. Uh, $2 from Yankee Doodle. Which world leader president has the most class? I love... I don't look. I got to be honest with you, Trumpster. The Trumpsters always, but I always liked uh, Mark. There was a French French president. He always wore some fucking cool watches. The French, I think, to be honest, when it comes to style and class, the French and the Italians are pretty damn cool. Okay, sorry. I know their shit doesn't work. I know their cars are garbage, but that's the honest truth. Three dollars from Mark Michael. Cellini's are disappearing from AD's comments. They're dogs. They're dogs. They're dogs. They're just unsellable. That's because the gray market is selling them for them because they're dogs. Uh, Joseph Spokes, $20 from Joseph Spokes. Need advice on first chronograph? I am looking between the Carl B. Bashua Steel or Zenith El Chronomeister El Primero Torbian, or can you give a recommendation? How much are you fucking spending, man? How much is he spending? <laughs> Well, how much is he spending? What do you think? That's a, a Zenith Turpion. It's going to be about $30,000, I think. What's the Carl Busher? What are they going for? The Carl F. Bushu. I don't know. Turbions from Zenith are, tend to be more affordable. I tell you this now. Stay away from that garbage and get a Daytona. That's garbage. What are you buying that garbage for? Zenith, you buy the basic El Primero open heart. That's all you do. You buy that. Simple, done and dusted. You don't fucking buy Zenith. It's a fucking idiot move. Joseph, you're a fucking idiot to consider that crap. You either go Daytona. You go you go Daytona, Daytona, Daytona. That's it. Column wheel chronograph rock with und ind undisputable resale value. That's fucking moron. Why don't you go for a... Carl F. Brusher. Brush sounds like a fucking brush cutter. <coughs> Jesus Christ, it's fucking bad. It's bad. We've got Clive. Hello, Clive. Hey. Um, I've got this thing. It's called a watch. That way it lets you know what time it is. So I start ship at the right time. You might want to look into it. Hide the comment there, would you, uh, Paul, so we can see Clive or Sorry. see him. We can't see the bottom guess. Yeah, there you go. What's up, guys? What you got on today, Fivers? We didn't see that. Shooter. North yep. flag. North, North flag, flag, yes. Nice. A little different. Countowitz. Uh, you know, we gave you that all that marriage advice. Are you, are you ready now to say sorry and apologize profusely to our advice? Yeah, right. No, it's been going great. How are you, you doing? What's going on? How long have you been married now for? Oh, we haven't done it yet. I'm still engaged. We'll probably do it sometime next year. Okay. Let me tell you this. Can I give you a bit of advice that someone, a wise old man told me? <laughs> what do you got? Well, okay. You get a jar. Good. You get a jar. Once you get you get a jar, right? He's every smiling. Time, that means he's still in love. Every, every time you have uh, physical relations, mm. you put a quarter in the jar. Mm. Okay? You do this... From the from now until the first year, your first anniversary of marriage. And then what happens is after the first year of marriage, you take a quarter out every time you have relations. I reckon it'll last about 10 to 15 years. Before it's out of money? Is that what you're yeah, before you run out. Yeah, 10 to 15 years. So just remember that, okay? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'll bring it up. I got to tell you the truth. I'm no longer setting people up on blind dates. Okay. Mm, are you still doing the online dating? Let me tell you what happened. A good friend of mine. I go to this. I'm not even going to name the restaurant, but I, I set him up with one of the waitresses. Was it Hungry Jack's? 
I, I'm not going to comment. KFC. <laughs> okay. And anyhow, guess what's happened? He got the phone call from her. Mm -hmm. I'm pregnant. Oh. And yep. it gets better than that. She's not sure who the father is. Uh oh. And I said, what the fuck are you doing having unprotected sex with um, a promiscuous whoa, woman? Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Who here has four kids? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't say, I didn't say follow me. You. for watching you, man. Literally watching just felt, which is kind It of felt good at the time, you know. But then he talks to me for an hour telling me how he's been withdrawing and it can't so be him. So does buying an Omega. Mm. So, so that's it. where did you get the North flag? Did you pick it up used? Uh, no, actually. Um, basically, I, it was sent to me by Govberg Watches to review. Oh, cool. I was I tried one on recently. I like the beveled angles, you know, at the edge of the case. It's kind of a cool look, but, you know. No, actually, no. It's actually the guy JC on the left coast who sent me the. Yeah, I was gonna bite. I was gonna bite, but I thought, no, nah, don't say anything. Don't say it. Uh, uh, uh. I was gonna. I was going I to was, bite. What your your horns were <sighs> thumping, 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 thumping. I was gonna see if one was gonna burst, but I can I can sit there and watch this. Actually, the guy who sent me the the Grand Seiko from Japan sent it to me for review. I noticed a few other channels are doing, uh, you know, sponsored Bob's watches. And Bob's watches are sponsored. Hey, Archie, has Bob's watches asked you to do anything for them? Yeah. No, because I kind of said Bob's watches was overpriced. Oh. <laughs> and I said they're kind of a uh, a ripoff. Two dollars from Doc BBC. Two dollars from Doc. What sucks worse than Hangout Stream Turd? Thank you, Doc. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> hey, Clivus, what do you think? 20,000 is this guy here is got going to buy a first chronograph, a Carl F. Brusher Steel, or a Zenith El Primero Torbion. I don't, don't touch that. If you've got that much money to spend, don't buy that garbage. Buy yourself Rolex. Clive, give mm. me your advice. Speedmaster Professional, used. Three, two, one. Well, even I think I think even in I, I think even a transitional eight sixty one. I think that's where the smart money is right now. You can even. I got to be honest with you. I wouldn't be buying that garbage. Steel Joseph, Daytona, fuck me. Steel Daytona, Steel Daytona, Steel Daytona. Money in the bank for life. Seventeen thousand. How are you going with your watch collection? Oh, great! I actually picked up something this week. Uh, I, you know, I haven't been. Uh, you know, craving to get anything, but you know, like Clive said, you know, just uh, it seems like all the deals online. There's no deals online. You got to get out there and actually uh, find, you know, private sellers and this kind of uh, pound the pavement, fuckers, pound the pavement. Exactly. So uh, a friend of mine who's not really a watch collector, um, he just loves his uh, Rolex Explorer One. He's a one watch guy, and um, you know, we'll talk about watches every now and then. But he doesn't. Uh, he's not looking to buy anything new. Anyways, he's had. This one watch for a few years and uh he went on vacation uh about a year ago and uh he lost the watch what uh, was it sorry what was the watch the explorer one what's oh, the fuck he lost the watch what the fuck what yeah size, what size was it it was a 39 it was a brand new watch and uh anyways he did came you, home did you see the video with uh, bark and jack comparing the 36 to the 39 I did see that. That was a pretty that good was actually a great video. Yeah, that was. It was well done. Yeah. Anyway, my buddy comes back is from vacation. Girls. And, 36 uh, is for girls. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, anyways, long story short, he uh, was cleaning out his closet one day. He, anyway, so he bought a new Explorer 1, and uh, months go by. He's cleaning out his closet, and he takes out a pair of sweatpants, and he had left the watch in a pair of sweatpants. So he's sitting on two Explorer 1s. And uh, he wants to get rid of one. And I told him, I said, you know, you can go to a dealer, probably get, you know, at least five grand, probably six grand if you do it private. Um, and he's like, dude, I don't want to deal with that. Do you want it? And this was a few How months much? Ago. How much? How much? Yeah, right. So it was a great deal, man. He really hooked it up. Um, How much? 4,500. You suck. 
You suck. That's box papers. Box papers. Suck. Mark two. Suck. Mark two. Nice. Twenty seventeen. So you didn't get the crappy shorthand one like people with no jarbs are forced to buy, right? You know, it's really nice. I noticed that. It's a really nice touch how it goes all the way to the track. Even on my Master 2, it doesn't do that. The GMT uh, Master 2 doesn't uh, – the, the hands don't actually go to the track itself if you put close. I just want to say a special hello to Stephen Brooks. Stephen Brooks is a very good friend of mine there. He's uh, going cool. And uh, also a special hello to Eric Summers, just PayPal'd me. <coughs> uh, Eric Summers, howdy, Uncle Archie. Howdy indeed there. Um, I got to tell you, man. You, you got a good deal on that Explorer because you know what? That watch isn't worth MSRP. So it's good that you got it at, at something that's worth getting it for because exactly. I would never pay MSRP for an Explorer. I'd rather pay MSRP for a Batman or a Hulk. 100%. Or something that's worth I'm MSRP. Funny, though. I mean, I know a lot of guys love their Explorer 1. I get the hype. I mean, I've only had it a few days. But I know. Just, I don't get the hype it's myself it's personally. I mean, you know, uh, for five grand, I jump all over it. I buy one today for five grand. Exactly. That's how I felt about it. But I wouldn't it. buy one for seven, ever. Right, right. Now, we got James from uh, Just My Opinion UK. $2, two pounds from James, Just My Opinion UK. Clive, my game high enough yet? Showcase watches. Well, if it is, if you meet a certain minimal level, I guess Bob's watches will contact you. And we've got Gilberto. Unlike, unlike, unlike Montevillo. Uh, unlike other Hi, people. Arch. Would you trade a Rolex Daytona Black Ceramic for a Rolex Sky Dweller Blue? Ooh. Would you do that? Personally, no. I'd stay with the Daytona. I think the Daytona. Daytona. Stay with the Daytona. But, I mean, if you really like the Sky Dweller, the Sky Dweller Blue is cool, but I think the Daytona will be um, a better – it's a safer look. It's up to you. If you if you hate, I think he's just bored. These rich people, they get bored. You know that these rich fuckers, they just get bored, man. They get bored. They you know, just want to. I don't know. Get cash to boot with it, because the Daytona is worth a lot more than the Skydweller. Well, the blue one is steel blue one. He's talking about. That's kind of. I think just stay with the Daytona. People get so fucking bored, man. What the fuck's your problem? They just get yeah, bored Daytona, all the way, Daytona. Oh wait! Did you hear, did in, did anyone hear a sound in the background? That was the irony app and my iPhone going off. Now, what's going on this week, Rich Buddy? Tell me what's happening with you. Anything new? You're wearing your president. Yeah, yeah I, I, I actually got an offer on my president, so I'm wondering if I should sell this. Uh, what, what's the offer? Uh, twelve and a, twelve and a half. And it's a it's what model is it? It's the one eight two three eight. It's a 1999, so it's the last serial of that 18238 model. Just keep the fucking thing. It's beautiful. Romans with cream dial. Mother fucking Pearl, keep it. Yeah. Just hey, keep hey, it. Why would you sell it? What would you buy if you sold that then? A, a, an AP, a Royal Oak? Yeah. No. No? <laughs> keep the president. What so Royal Oak five, exactly? The, the new one, the 15500. Can you get that, but you can get it for about a three thousand dollar premium. Yeah, they're about fifteen, right? No, about twenty four. Oh, <laughs> they go for their eighteen MSRP, which would cost you about twenty out the door tax. So. Yeah, you're right. You know, you're right. I reckon for you, man, rich buddy, just what keep the fucking president. I love the president. The eighteen two three eight double quick set. It's nice condition. Just yeah. fucking keep it. That goes with the Porsche. Where is that Porsche, by the way? Oh, IMS failure. <laughs> I'm, I haven't been driving much lately. It sits parked. It's covered up. What? How do you mean parked, covered up? What do you mean by that? Man, I've, I've been having some trouble walking. I can't really drive much, it's, man. It's not in the garage? No, no. I, I had a water heater go out, so I had to pull this cabinet out, and it's in the way of the parking spot till I get the water heater fixed. You don't seem to understand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Rich, rich buddy. Archie has four kids. Please explain to him what pulling out means. 
Boom, boom. I got to tell you, Rich Buddy, you're not supposed to leave the Porsche outside. That is fucking stupid. I'm going to say this to you again. You don't fucking put that car in the fucking garage. Don't fucking come back. I got, I, got go I got a cover. I got a cover. Hey, my car's not in the garage. I mean, it doesn't fucking do anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My car's it's going to scratch the paint. I want to point out my car is not in the garage. Yeah, but your car's a piece of shit, Clive. I mean, he's got a Porsche. Yeah, he, actually, yeah, that, that's exactly right, Tree. That's my other. That's my other ride when my when I can't drive. That fucking scooter right there. That's what I get around in, man. Seriously, man, I'm Very telling you, weird. don't fucking leave the afraid. car outside. That's you don't that's want to trade my problems for my watches. Trust me. What's that? You don't want to trade my your my problems for my watch your for my watches. Trust me. No. When I go shopping for watches. I gotta ride in a fucking scooter around the mall and shit. Mm -hmm. Would you trade places with Archie Luxury? <laughs> you know what? Nah, I don't know. That'd be a tough one. I, I, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Any that that's that's no, we're a talking, possibility. We're talking, we're talking the whole package here. That one. We are talking the whole package here. And speaking about packages, how do you feel about Asian men in dresses? <laughs> I never seen one. Okay, here we go. Ray, Ray, 20 pounds from Ray. Are you attending Paul Thorpe's watch convention on the 19th of October in the UK? Do a GoFundMe to travel. To I I thought he was going to pay for my ticket. If I get a free air ticket, I'll go, but otherwise, no. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, but if he, if someone pays for my ticket, I'd go. But I'm not going to go. Two dollars from Yankee Doodle. Mother of Pearl is way feminine. Is that Mother of Pearl or is it cream? You know what? No, it's Mother of Pearl, but it's a very modest Mother of Pearl. Do you see that? It's a very masculine. Uh, that's that's very nice. And how did you? Who who bought that? You bought that yourself, or what happened? Yeah, who's, who's going to buy it for me? Well, yeah, you, well, you see, Archie, he's a real man with a real jarb, so he buys stuff himself. I thought they could have given it. Don't they give retirement presents from companies? Weren't you a big wig in the shit? No, <laughs> I was self-employed all my life, man. You know, I had my I had my own company, and I had a I had a few fuckers working for me until I realized a couple of them were stealing from people. So I just shut the whole fucking company down. Oh. Fuck! How come? Why were they? St what bastards? He does, yeah. you, so you don't want to be associated with fraudsters, is what you're saying, right? So be before it before it came to realization, I I just shut my company down and eliminated my two principals that were with me, and uh, and I opened up my own firm behind their back and set it all up while the other one was still running, and then I made a quick switcheroo within a 24 hour period. But, but I did that for a while, and then I, you know, before I kind of, yeah, there's a lot of crazy, there's a lot of cheating fuckers in the financial services business, I'll tell you that. And and, and this was 10 years ago, and 10 years later, he just got uh, found guilty for 126 felony counts for fraud against senior citizens and stuff. And uh, 124 felony counts, and he laundered $2 million, and he got six months. Hey, now in California, if someone leaves the hotel room without paying the lady boy, is that is that a felony? He'd probably get more than six months. <laughs> That's an incredible story, you know. Yeah, I got some crazy stories, but I wouldn't want to divulge them on the air. Those guys even try to kill me. What? Yeah. Like how? Yeah, I don't. Want, I'm not going to get into that, but it was. You're talking millions and millions of dollars involved. How did they try and kill you? Propane. Propane accident. But they didn't. How, but how they didn't close get did it get? Huh? How close did it get? It got close. The neighbors came. I was in a foreign country in Mexico. I was living down there for a little bit. And they uh, they rented a house next door and left the, all the propane. Is uh, Mexico still is Mexico still a foreign country? Let's face it, isn't it, isn't it kind of like Texas South by this it, point? It, it, in Mexico, everything's running a propane. You have a giant propane tank on your property to run everything, and they they fill that entire house next door with propane. And luckily, did it go off? 
you know, somebody came and found, discovered it before, before anything happened. Literally the whole block went running from that freaking street. Everybody went running from that street, man. I'm telling you, the, the, the whole house was full of propane. It was crazy. It would have blown the whole block. Now, Archie, have you uh, have you been keeping up with ID Guy's channel? No. What's happened there? Well, I think he released a video basically saying the Explorer 2 is for losers. Mm. It's asymmetric. ID Guy. It's ill-placed. Ill placed. Yeah. Ill designed. It's off centered. ID guy. Yep. He's got a great channel, by the way. Some great viewing content. As a matter of fact, if you're not PayPaling, sorry, if you're not super chatting, you should probably log off the live stream and go check that out now. Which watch did he just review? Wasn't it the Seiko? Well, oh, he said, okay. Ha ha ha. That's a bit harsh. Notice that is not a denial, but especially yeah. So, mm, the design problems. Okay, I'm having a look myself there. So, Clyde, how's the North Flag? Uh, you know, I would, would you buy it. Would you buy it? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. It's 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 a different watch. And I was also checking out its predecessor, the Ranger. Now, mm. is it just me, or does the Ranger look hella like a ten sixteen? The, the numerals are too. It's kind of Timexy to me. It's not. Uh, are we talking about the Ranger or the North Flag? Yeah, the old one. You're talking about the ones with the numerals, right? Yeah. It's like a certain more circular numerals. It looks like a ten. It looks. It looks like they're. It looks kind of like a ten sixteen to me, or six ten sixteen inch. Yeah. I, I, I think the North Flag is a better looking watch to me, but well, you, it, it's got legibility out the wazoo, though. I've got to say that. Hmm. They're about two grand, yeah. Uh, thereabouts, yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. You know, actually, the Tudor watch that really appeals to me. What's that? I, I like the Advisor. The Advisor. Yeah. I don't know that. I don't know that watch. Uh, check it out when you have a chance. It's 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 about the only one where Tudor wasn't trying to copycat Rolex, or sorry, be inspired by Rolex. This is a discontinued model. No, they still have the they still oh. have the advisor. So tell me, guys, what the hell's going on as far as um all this stuff that's going around the internet with Rolex and that there, is it getting better? You promised me, Clive, things would be getting better by now. What the fuck happened? No, I didn't promise you that. You said supply would increase, the bubble would burst, it would be all over? Well, number one, actually what they're talking, what, actually what other channels who are really more tied into the market, wait a minute, there's a super chat by Ron the Shrink. Ron the Shrink. He's uh, he's he's a huge fan of this channel here. We love oh, Ron. Ron the Shrink, I think we can double your pay pigs. Oink, oink. Let's talk later, big boy. Thank you, Ron the Shrink. Oh, in true Archie uh, fashion, he repeated himself. Very good there. Um, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. I got to be honest with you. I got to be honest with you. I got to tell you. I got to tell you. That's Archie Overload. So, no, but... Uh, but I've heard a lot of people basically saying that. Uh, oh, he are, did. He did. He did. He did say that. Five dollars from Ron the Shrink. I think we can double your pay pigs. Oink, oink. Let's talk later. Medic! We got a repeater over here. Medic! So what are they saying about the Rolex supply problem? Well, actually, that the use prices or the secondary market prices might be softening a little bit. At least on certain models, especially okay. the Explorer, especially the Explorer Two, which some people are starting to say it's like the fifty one ten of the Rolex Explorer range. I mean, of the Rolex Professional range, and the prices are softening. I see. Have you seen that in the flyover states? Prices are always soft over here, comparatively. You see, for prices to go up, you have to have people with money. 
Actually, two dollars from Yankee Doodle. I reckon it's got legs. Thank you, Yankee Doodle. Um, so, Clive, how are paddock prices in in Oklahoma? Tell me that. Paddock prices in Oklahoma. Yes. I don't know. There has there has to be there have to be paddocks in Oklahoma. I was about to say paddock prices in Oklahoma. I see. Oklahoma is yeah. not really a paddock town. Oklahoma's a state, dude. Oklahoma, I mean, Oklahoma, okay. Are prices really going to lighten up at all if you can't see the watch in the store? Well, Doesn't it take the watch being in the shelf for the price to start least going down? At least it will in the secondary market, though. And, you know, um, I think it might be safer time to buy. Archie, what the hell are you doing? I'm just winding my watch, my paddock. Oh, thank God. I thought you were having a spasm or something like that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Perfectly okay. Is that good to do that on your watch? Yeah. I know you do that in some of your reviews. Oh, like, snap, well. snap in your wrist with that thing. Is that how you broke <laughs> last time? Actually, I'll tell you something. I was trying to get that rooted rotor fixed without you guys twigging at the time. The rooted rotor. <laughs> right. Right. You know? All right. Hey, yeah. Gunzap! Gunzap is doing fantastic work. I've just uploaded the promotional video to this very channel. Uh, oh. How to make a viral video. Gunzap oh. is amazing. And oh, I'm going to yeah. be doing an in depth interview with Gunzap very soon. There was an earlier comment. You know what a wallet is, right? A what? A wallet. It's a no, servant. no idea. I it's haven't heard that. Indian, it's an Indian word for a servant, like a tea wallet. Sorry, a tea? Walla. Like his whole job or her whole job is to make you tea whenever you want, like chi, tea. Okay. I could actually do a tea now, actually. Yes, I could do with that. No, sorry. Tea, like coffee, is for closers. Put the fucking coffee down. Put the coffee down, yes. You see this watch? Rich, you got to do that line. You see this watch? You see this watch? It was more than your car. <laughs> that was in... in, in Ross Glenn Gagetti. He's wearing the president. Alec Baldwin. I'm, I'm surprised you got Alec Baldwin right. <laughs> okay, thank you, Clive. What's up with that Batman, Keslo? Do you like you've been you've been sporting that Batman every day at work? Yeah, well, you know what? That's kind of why I, I was looking out for something because wearing that Batman every day, I've scratched the hell out of it. Those yeah. color wire links. And the fact that it's been discontinued, it makes me not want to wear a watch like that anymore. I mean, I love it. I I, I was wearing it every day until I just got this Explorer. But um, I think it'll just be good for the weekends now. You know, when I'm at work, sometimes it's not nice when you're, you know, anytime you get that thing against the doorway or something, it just hurts. Clive, so, we've got a yeah. thing from Doc BBC. My jeweler, $2 from Doc BBC. My jeweler is trying to sell me a Kermit for 20000 Fuck! That's a lot of money. Well, but when you think about it, the Kermit probably has one of the most important precursors to being collectible in the long term. Yeah, but twenty k—that's crazy. I mean, even even the Daytona pre pre ceramic Daytona is going for tw over twenty is crazy to me. You have to know which Kermit it is that you're paying for because I was looking at those. It, you know, Here we go. It was Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Named yeah, well, after that. About going, they were selling for a president for the AP or for no, a permit. No, no, keep the Rolex, please. That is a beautiful. You got the box for that, haven't you? No papers. Who cares about papers? So you you want, want to trade you a straight trade for the Kermit? No, I was. Uh, you know, I'd have to put like fifteen hundred up to get the Kermit. Sell this and then get the Kermit. Because I found a couple of Kermits for about fourteen. Yeah. So when he's talking twenty, you know, there's obviously different bezels, different years, different. Well, like yeah, Kermit. yeah. The uh, early ones that you asked Clive about them, the Kermit. Yeah. Vintage is fucking hard. I got to tell you this now. Can I tell you a bad story? As long as you don't share this with anyone. Sure. A good friend of mine. He, he got a he got a he got he got a uh, explorer with super patina on it, right? Paid a massive premium. Anyhow, we've we've looked at it with a microscope, a special. It's applied. That loom was fake. It wasn't actually naturally 
It wasn't naturally done. Did I tell you? And I just, you know, I got this watch when I had to get a link taken out. When I brought it in, yeah. uh, I went to the Rolex service center. It's right around the corner from yeah. my house. A guy brought in some, I don't know what it was, the Oyster Perpetual, whatever it mm. was. He's at the counter right next to me, and it was so embarrassing. I couldn't even look over. The lady said, I'm sorry, we can't service your watch. The dial is fake. She And he goes, oh, well, can't you just change the dial? They go, no, we, we can't touch any watch that has counterfeit parts. And she was saying it so loud. Everyone in the room could hear it. It was so embarrassing for the guy. It felt pretty bad. Well, they're out there. Well, you know, on the watch, okay. Just very quickly, five pounds from Thomas Burnett. Respect us to Gunzap and Wiki Watch Leaks for re releasing some top tip content this week. 100%. Now, I'm just going to go and grab a. I'm going to go and grab a. A. I'm going to grab a coffee. A coffee? A coffee could be good. A coffee? I'm going to grab a coffee for closers. I will um, be back. You just mm, cover me for. It ought to be decaf. For, it ought to be decaf for you, Archie. Actually, I'm getting a tea. Can I just go and make a cup of tea? I'll be back in one minute. I was going to put the, the tea bags in and I'll be back. Okay. Water. How, much, Water. how much experience do you have with tea bagging? <laughs> I knew there was something coming there. <laughs> I don't get these jokes. You know that? I don't get it, man. I didn't get it. I did. I went to Oxley State High, you know? You know, <laughs> I got I to hand it to you, Clive. You really do your work, man. You don't just come off with these smart ass comments. He's he's researched it. You, you were right. It, it literally it literally took thirty seconds when I literally was typing it into the Google search bar. Oh, do you mean Blackheath Farms and Oxley? I'm like, fuck. Yep. Yeah, I guess that's what I do mean. Very cool. You're very cool, Clive. Uh, just very quickly there, we've got uh, another super chat from Eric Summers. Howdy, uncle. And uh, Eric Summers is asking the question. i got to find this. Eric Summers is asking the question. If I can find it, just hang on. Oh, shit. I've, I'll, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Actually, where is it? I'm just trying to find it. You're looking down. What are you trying to find? Uh, Eric Summers actually sent me a super chat. He had a question. Oh, here we go. Arch, he said $2.84, R, which is what Rich Buddy's got. Lang A1 Platinum or 6006, no question, 6006. That Dave, my friend, has got that watch. That is fucking, 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 fucking sexy. Six zero zero six. I mean, the five one nine six is a great paddock, uh -huh. but it ain't a six zero zero six. That's an automatic with a date. So funky as fuck. And the Lange, they're Germans. They're cunts. We won the war. Fuck those Germans. Yeah, I see that six thousand six as more of a daily wearer. It can be worn That's more cool, often. Man. More often. It's a pretty great watch. It's a look. I I love the five one nine six. Let's let's be honest. We won the war. You guys just gave a little assistance. We we gave you help in Nam. No one else did. Boy, it sure was effective, wasn't it? <laughs> you guys kept getting your ammunition stolen. Don't let the other side steal your shit. Is that a quote from the? Uh, is that a quote from the Chicago mob or to the Chica or to the outfit? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, after after that war, the uh, the VC was the was one of the best equipped armies in the world, and most of the stuff was stolen from you well, guys. And well, yeah. guys. but after the war, the VC became part of the Holy Trinity, so you can kind of thank us for that. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea. I'll be back. Two seconds. Hmm. So you're going to wear that, ex that Explorer now at work every day? Yeah, I'm going to use this as like a daily watch from now on. You know, uh, it's not a big okay. deal. Once it's polished up one time, it's going to look like you just bought it. Yeah, I want to, I want to, to polish it until I, uh, till I service the watch. You know, I don't want to 
I don't want to over polish it. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm doing it. One time. Watch leaks has leaked. Huh, I'm going to have to. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm going to have to go on there real quick and look. Sorry. Are you doing super chats here, Clyde? No, fuck no. It's not my channel. <laughs> So now that you got that tutor coming out, do you have other watches from that dealer that you can kind of pick and choose what you uh, can review? No, no, no. Actually, this is an individual. This is an individual. So, oh. oh my God, the Salitas, an Archie luxury movie. It's got, it's got Mimi T. Mark. Oh wow. Okay. Official cast reveal. Nice. He made a movie. Wiki watch leaks. Yeah. Put a bunch of clips together. That'll be funny. Well, yeah, that's generally how they make it. So, yeah. Another thing, too, is like, I feel like the Explorer is the least looking uh, Rolex, you know, kind of get away. It's less flashy, less attention. You have one, don't you, Clyde? Uh, no, I had the Explorer. I had the Explorer one. The 14270. You may remember it as this prize fuck off piece of 2018. Sure, sure, sure. Nice. The one you got is 40, right? And the one you got is 39, right? Well, no, this was this one, the Ranger. No, not the Ranger. No, the old, the old Explorer you have, the Explorer one you have is a 39? 36. 36. And yours is a 39? The new one is 39 or a 40? It's 49, but there's at in 2017 they change. It's like there's a Mark One with the shorter hands, and the Mark Two's got the longer hands and the um, loom and the in the numerals, which is really well, cool actually. And like I said, ID guy basically also did one about the watch, and he likes the like kind of like Adrian with Bark and Jack. He likes the 36. He right. thinks the 39th is a great watch, but there's too much dead space in the watch. Yeah. It does, yeah, but it's that's what keeps it nice. It's simple. It's like a, it's well balanced, I think. Well, yeah, but you didn't get an Explorer two. That's the important part. No, yeah. it's not the Explorer two. You know, it seemed like the Explorer two Submariner, GMT. You know, they all have those those dot hour markers. They're very similar watches, actually, in my opinion. Now, did you have a watch on the radar at all, or this just came up because it came up? This just came up. To be honest, I was kind of looking at those OP 39s. I was looking at the white dial, but those are just going for retail, and uh, they don't have them at the ADs. I was, you know, it sounds crazy. I was actually on a wait list, just you know, yeah, waiting to see when they come in. And um, it's been a couple months, and then my buddy hit me up for this. I was like, this is great. It's probably better yeah. than the ADs. And Under MSRP, hell's yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it's the thing. If you're just patient, you know, um, and you make some watch friends, you know, things come up. Hey, RP, we've been told there's a lot of super chats. You might want to get on that. Oh, okay. Let's have a look here. I'm going to grab a drink as well. It sounds good. I'll be back. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab something. I'll be right back. Hey, no Rich, do you have to grab a drink real quick? I think you need to grab a drink real quick, right? So what's up, Archie? I haven't been on, in, been on here and talking to you in a while. What's been going on? Hey man, it's fantastic. I gotta tell you, man, there's no super chats. There was one. Somebody wants to designate ID guy as rodent. What Here we go. Doc BBC. Two dollars from Doc BBC. What's top tip content and does it involve Ladyboy? Where's the shop at? I gotta tell you the truth, man. I'm gonna come back. We're going to cut this show here because it's just not working. The Super Chats are crap, and I'm in it for the money. So I'm going to come back, and let's just quit before these guys come back from the tea, from, from the drinks. I'm going to be back on in a couple of hours. All right. So come back, guys. I love you, Rich. Okay, we'll see you.